Hannah Payne, the 25-year-old Clayton County convicted killer, learned her fate. She will spend the rest of her life behind bars. But the Clayton County judge did say she is eligible for parole. Earlier this week, a jury found her guilty of killing a man in 2019 who left the scene of a traffic crash that she wasn't even directly involved in. Fox Live's Tyler Fingert was in the courtroom for the sentencing. Lots of tears in a Clayton County courtroom for the sentencing of Hannah Payne. The siblings of the man she killed asked the judge to give her the max. Ultimately, the judge sentenced her to life in prison with the possibility of parole plus 13 years. With handcuffs on her wrists and wearing her jail uniform, Hannah Payne learned Friday she won't get out of prison for a long, long time. The court will impose a sentence of life with the possibility of parole. Hannah Payne's eyes filled with tears as Clayton County Judge Jules Scott gave the convicted killer life for the malice murder charge. Payne was also sentenced to 13 additional years to be served consecutively for the other counts in the 2019 killing of 62-year-old Kenneth Herring. So justice has been done here for Kenneth Herring. A jury found Payne guilty of following Herring after he left the scene of a crash, eventually cutting him off and firing the bullet that killed him. She is paying the price for taking a life. The case got national attention, but Clayton County District Attorney Tasha Mosley says they don't believe the murder was race related. She called the sentence a victory and says even if Payne eventually gets parole, she'll still have to serve at least 43 years. When you look at 43 years and you're 25, all the good years are gone. Before the judge handed down her sentence, Herring's three siblings pushed for the harshest sentence possible, while three of Payne's friends asked for mercy. The same sentence that she gave him, I would like to see the same sentence given to her. That she is a human worthy of saving. District Attorney Mosley says the case has flared tempers and there have been multiple death threats against both families connected to the trial. If they get them, we will prosecute them. These, this is enough. These families have been through enough. Payne has a right to appeal the conviction, but so far no court paperwork has been filed. The Clayton County DA says they will fight any and all appeals. In Clayton County, Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News.